the level. So it's also essential to know what are the two types of transmission. So we have two classes of non-prestation in some communication network. First of all, we have the analog transmission. And we have the digital transmission. So what are the different types of So for analog transmission, it's simply yung mga data na nakukuha natin directly sa tao. Such as for example, yung voice ko na lang ito. So say for example, I'm talking to a certain people or a certain person. So whatever I say or whatever ang sabihin ko, directly na may unit and it's also transcribed by the organ or the biological organ. Whereas for digital transmission, it undergoes electronics or dumadaan siya sa mga electronic system. So, what are some examples of analog transmission? So, for analog transmission, okay, so for example, so of course, human voice. Human voice, so ano, ito yung ginagawa natin, human voice, okay, person to person. Yeah. So that's 15, 3, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6
So, if you divide that, you can find the frequency. And the frequency or the value of the letter you have been asked, diba nga? You can do wala pa tayo na. B equals to M C squared. And then, once we find that, since B is also equals to M C M, we can now find the frequency that we need. So, questions for now? So, dahil man, kung kapansin yun, meron tayong two constants there. So, questions? Now, actually, niya pa isa yan. C over F was to lambda. Good. May pa isang, may pa isang, may pa makita natin yung value niya. So, do you have any problems versus this one? Mukhang wala naman. Mukhang mukhang ito ng lesson part na to. So right after we continue with our video for the next part, we're going to discuss about the topology of the information network and some 